and we're back again with another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. I hope you guys are joining the series so far. So in the last episode, we learned how to fly our broom, and now we can be able to get around the map with ease, because I was tired of walking around half the time playing this game, but I guess now that uh, we can finally be able to fly through it. It's actually pretty easy, and it's actually addicting to fly around, and we'll be able to get through the map a little faster. So I hope you guys are enjoying the series, and if you want more episodes of this, let me know in the comment section. I'm going to try to see if I can beat this series within 30 to 35 videos. I'm not going to make it over there. But I did hear that this campaign takes about 18 hours to beat in total. So, And right now I'm like between 4 to 5 hours, I think. I'm going to have to check my save data. But hit that like button. Also subscribe. Um, and we'll just go from there. you probably ask yourself how to enter in this area. But I'm going to explain it after this intro. So I did a couple missions offline just to get in this area. And I have to create potion stations and everything. But you know what to do. This game is addicting, and I hope y'all are enjoying me spamming more videos. Let's see what happens. Now we have to head back to Professor Fig. Let's see what happens from there. Here we go. It can be used All right, y'all, so we're out here now. Garlic, what's up, man? Time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. All right, so right now we have to head to Professor Fig. So in that room that I was in earlier, um, in the intro, I had to do a couple missions, and we had to follow. I had to talk to Professor Weekly. Oh, Professor Weasley. And after that, then, I had to complete a couple of objectives. We had to walk in this this abandoned basement with a whole bunch of books and, and stuff in there. That's what it was. But anyway, let's see what happens here. I hope y'all liking the series, man, because my goal is to try to see if I can beat this. At least, I don't want to rush through this game because there's hardly any games coming out. And with this game, there's so much content in this that you really don't want to rush through it. But hey, y'all want me to keep spamming? Let me know. I was hoping to see you. What's up, Fig? Let's see what you got for me. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Your friend, Mr. Ollivander, sent me an owl asking for help finding an heirloom wand that was stolen from him. He did, did he? And so I went to the Owlery, like he said, and there were all these statues. What do you mean, statues? In the Owlery? Yes, which led me to a secret hideout where I found Richard Jackdaw's ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. What book they were speaking of? The map chamber? Where is this leading us? In a dungeon or something? The room is called the map chamber, by the way. And the portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. Into the map treatment, so that's where we're going. I actually want to switch out my cloak sooner or later, but I have to find new material to do that. Intrepid travelers, the both of you. Keep your wits about you. Man, ignite the flame. Can I ignite? I'm just going to ignite it by myself. And also, too, I learned a new skill. It's called, uh, Can Confringo. And that's actually pretty. It's like shooting out a fireball or something. That's pretty epic. All right, let's see what this is. To think it was beneath us all this time.
a map, there's Hogsmeade. And over here, the Forbidden Forest. And, of course, Hogwarts. It's magnificent. If only you were here to see this. Interesting. Looks like a whole world map or something. Speak to Rackham. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend. See now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability. The potential and power of which will unlock, should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key, and of trials you'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts Everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful. And do not tell anyone where you're going. We're going to that tower now. So that's where we need to make our way over there. Map chamber. Let's get it. How many missions are in this game? I'm going to have to look at the missions list. Now, what is the cap level, y'all? Somebody let me know. Oh, I got to reach the level 11? No. All right. Looks like I'm going to have to make some spells or something. I, I figured. I just knew it. Now, can I use this? Let me see. You can't imagine. It's the freezing spell. It is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. Once you have done that, come and see me. All right, so we're going to have to uh, complete a couple of assignments. And once we do that, then we can move on to the next mission. So, yeah, the game kind of forces you to rank up in this game, which is nothing wrong with that because 
hey, it is RPG after all. All right, let's see. Where the heck is this thing at? Dang, it's all the way over there. All right, let me open up quest log real quick. Let's see what that is. Okay, I need to meet Professor Fig outside the tower. All right, so I need to complete pop balloons over Hawksmith Station. Dang, so I got to do all that? Okay, we could do flight tests. Dang, look at all these cycles I could do. Dang, I am not about to do all that stuff. But anyway, it ranks me up, so let's go and complete our quest first. And then we'll move on to Percival Rackham's trial. All right, let's get it. Let's see how far it is, actually. Let's shoot me that far. Wait, wait. Did I accept it already? Let me see something. Wait. Yeah, it should be located on the map. Let's see. Dang, it's all the way over there. Are you kidding? All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spawn here, and then I'll just fly over there, y'all. So one second. And what do you know, guys? We're finally flying in this game. Like, this, this look how fast you can go in this. This is insane. I don't have to walk everywhere. Now, if they had, like, horse carriages or something, then I wouldn't be able to do that. But, you know, I'll just take the flying aspect. I don't really have to do anything else. But once they drop the multiplayer, I think they're going to drop the multiplayer soon. And I guess in a couple months. Hopefully by the summertime. And if they do that, at least in spring or the summertime. And if they can do that, I definitely will be sharing our gameplay in that. Uh oh, I think this is it. Let's go ahead and see what she has. Ah, wait. Land, land, land. There we go. What the heck she at? Revelio. All right, she's got to be around here somewhere. I'm grateful for the opportunity. Pop balloons over Hogsmeade Station. On, oh, that's what we got to do. How do you pop them? Oh, I know what you Stole gotta shoot at me, it. I think. Rob, Let me see. Does that do anything? Hold up. Maybe you gotta fly on him. Let me see. That's just dumb if you gotta pop it, like flying through it. Let's see. Yeah, that's how you do it. I figured. Yeah. Alright, two out of five. You gotta fly over balloons and stuff. Which I figured that was gonna happen anyways, but I'll take it. Where's the other ones at? Oh, some over there. Yeah, it's like see this is the type of stuff that forces games, especially when you play RPGs. If you never played an RPG game before, you have to do stuff like this in order to move on with the next mission. You have to complete like many quests. Cause they, I hate games that do that. I really do, but hey, that's what you what you sign up for when you play RPG games. Not all RPG games are the same, but where's the other balloon at? The frick? Is there one in here? Where you at? Come on, man. Stick your nose out, man. Let me see if there's one over here. Is there one down here? Huh, interesting. You usually see it. Oh, there it is. It's in the between these trees. Ah, there you are. Got it. Now we gotta head to the Quidditch pit pitch, and then we can head over there. All right, so we pop one of those. So let's head over there, y'all, and then I'm gonna do another mini transition. So one second. All right, so we have some balloons that we have to pop in Quidditch. Uh, the Quidditch pitch. So let's go ahead and get those out. All right, that's three. We need one. We need two more. Uh, what's the other one? Oh, there it is. I see it. It's right in the grass. What's that tree up there? I might have to go investigate that sooner or later. All right, we need one more. Where you at? Huh. Where are you, where are you camping? Oh, there it is. I see it. It's right there. Just going to take this balloon out. Yeah, eventually, sooner or later, what I'm going to start doing is all those side quests that are offline. I'm going I'm to just play those offline. Because I don't want to. Nice. Now, let's head back in there. Yeah, we can upgrade our broomstick. We gotta return to Madame Kagwa. Let's go meet the next professor. Oh, she in there? What the freak? Well, I could just walk in there. Well, I'll take it. Alright. Let's get through here, yo. There she is. How did you get on with those tasks? By flying with a broomstick. Madame Kagawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process. Yes, Professor. That's good to hear. 
Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. If Black ever permits Quidditch again. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. Pay attention to Oh, we're to learning a new skill, work. boys. Let's get it. All right, Glacius. So it's, I think it's when you freeze objects. All right. Click A. Y. How can you mess up this process? It seems so easy, but you really can't. All right, we got it. Yeah, it's a freeze uh, spell. That's what that looks like. Nice. All right, I'll take Well done. I'd recommend that you practice your new spell here in my office before taking it out into the world. All right, let's go and learn that. So we have, how many spells we have? One, two. We got a couple more spells left to unlock. Where is it at? Huh? Is it this? No, that's Confringo. Oh, there it is. There it is. I, didn't, couldn't, I couldn't see it. Let's go and switch that. All right. And I'm going to switch back with, what is that? Okay, nah, that's all right. I'm going to do Levioso for up and Y. There we go. All right, let's try it out. It's going to freeze him. Oh, I like that. There you go. Quickly. That was epic. Yeah. That freeze was nice. Yeah, I like that. That's my favorite ability right now. That freezes enemies in their tracks. Level 11 unlocked. I can't unlock it. I just ranked up to 11, didn't I? Dang it. Man, I can't even unlock it. It is what it is. Dang it. All right, y'all. So I guess the next mission we can hit too, because I think it unlocked already. Let's see. Let's go and check our quest. Yep, it unlocked. Let's go, man. Let's go meet him at the tower. I guess I'll show y'all the cutscene and I'll start the video. So let's see how far it is on the map. All right, let's get the world map for a minute. Wait, actually, it'd just be easier spawn here and then fly up there. All right, y'all, give me one second, another mini transition. So, uh, and then I'll catch y'all there. So one second. Now the cool thing is when you're flying your broom in this game, the side of the, the objectives and the map, it doesn't get cut off. It really doesn't. So that's the cool thing. You can literally fly all the way up in the sky. Well, I think it will get cut off at a certain point. But what I'm saying is it really doesn't. You really can't get cut off. off on another adventure, nice. Are we? Another full flame. Let's get it. Wait, what is this? Lace wing flies? What the heck was that? Oh, that was just an owl flying in there. What the heck? What the heck? It is mid-morning. Let's get it. Let's go and talk to him. We're not alone. We are not. Ranrock's loyalists. Around a dozen, I can see, but could be more. Can't we operate past them into the tower? We could, but we've no idea what's in the tower. More importantly, however, I'd like to know why they're here. They've set up camp just ahead. I suggest we investigate a little before doing anything else. Let's go. All right, y'all. Let's well, go and follow this, this objective. No, it isn't. This way. And I'd suggest we use the disillusionment charm here. No sense in announcing our arrival. All right, so this is going to be a good stopping point. I want to uh, gonna continue in the next part because it's already like 21 minutes. So if you want more episodes, you know what to do. Subscribe, hit that like button, and I will definitely spam more videos. 6% of challenges. I got to look at that. And I got some talents that I unlocked. Because right now is I am level 11. So what is the cap level in this game? I'm going to have to look real quick so I can tell you all in the next part. So if you want more episodes, you know what to do. Take it easy, y'all. Peace out.